Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today we'll talk about global settings for pretty much anything in Filament. For example, based on this Discord question, how to change the behavior of all labels to a different format of uppercasing something instead of UC first. So this is the question. And I will show you the answer to this Discord and also another similar example. So in your app service provider in Laravel, you can override a lot of things with a function called configure using. So column or field or action configure using and then a callback function as a parameter. And that callback function may add many methods like label, like whatever you want to override the default behavior for whenever you use column field or action. So this is the example. And as another demonstration, I'll show you another example because it's much easier to understand and grasp the concept and remember if you have multiple examples of the same thing. So for example, what if in the table you want to have edit buttons instead of links? So those edit should be buttons. If you want to do this just for one table, you would add a button here in the edit action in the table and you refresh and it is a button. But you can do that globally so let's remove that button here and add that to the app service provider of Laravel. Here, edit action, configure using, and then callback function with the same edit action as a parameter. And here you may add whatever you want. Action button or action whatever you want. And now, in the post resource we don't have that as a button, but we refresh the page and edit is still a button. And also if we go to another resource, we have edit as a button here, although we didn't even touch the task resource. And if you go to the official filament docs and enter configure using, you will see quite a lot of examples of how you can configure something in the table, info list, form, or notifications. So whenever you need some global setting for whatever element in filament, first thing to try would be configure using. Probably not all of the elements support that, but just try and see what happens. If you want more filament tips, subscribe to the channel. And if you want more complex, ready-made filament examples, visit our filamentexamples.com where we have a lot of complex forms and complex tables and charts and stuff like that, packaged as projects available on GitHub or sliced into various smaller examples like set some value on change, toggle column and others. Some of those examples are free. I recently created a category called snippets. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.